you. Mr. Speaker, I want to welcome the people back to the people's house. I want, to, I want to welcome democracy back to the people's house. That on last Thursday, members of this body tried to crucify democracy, but today we stand as a witness of a resurrection of a movement of a multiracial democracy that no unjust decision will stand. And that this represents the point that there comes a time where time itself is ready for a change, that time has come back here in Nashville, Tennessee. That truth crushed to the ground will rise again, that what you intend for evil can be used for good to restore the heart of democracy in our state. And so I come here to stand with my constituents, with the people of Tennessee, to say that no unjust attack on democracy will, will happen unchallenged. That the abuse of this body will not happen in the comfort of silence. And so I come here most importantly though, not as an individual, but I come here to say that the people of District 52, 78,000 people have a voice in this chamber once again. I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful for the days ahead for Tennessee, not because of the actions of this body, but because of the actions of the people out there and the thousands gathered outside this chamber right now who are calling for something better, who's, who, who responded to your attacks on democracy with an attack of a mass movement for social justice and racial justice and economic justice to restore the heart of our state. And so I wanna thank you all, um, not for what you did, but for awakening the people of this state particularly the young people. Thank you for reminding us that the struggle for justice is fought in one in every generation. And so the people of Tennessee, I stand with you. We will continue to be your voice here and no expulsion, no attempt to silence us will stop us, but it will only galvanize and strengthen our movement. And we continue to show up in the people's house. Power to the people.